Let's see what we got. Kate and Leopold. Do you know what this movie is? I vaguely remember it, and I still... Yo, Name I only know Viola Davis in black movies. I'm sorry, but I cannot <laughs> give you... There's no way in heck that Viola Davis is going to be ridiculous. known in these white films that you're talking about right now. I don't know these Listen, films. Kate Leopold is a classic. Leopold. I don't even watch no romance. Hugh stuff. Jackman stars as Leopold. Meg Ryan I bet he does. stars as Kate. I bet Meg. And Meg Ryan. Yeah. I, I don't even remember Viola Davis in this though. Again, another movie where I don't. I'm not gonna know it. because I've never watched her in there. I know she it. was the. She was a police woman. Dang man, they gonna do Viola like that? <laughs> All I know about Kate <laughs> Leopold is that is that Hugh Jackman. Played a played the dude that made elevators, and so he Wait, accidentally like, time. This is set in modern times. It sounds it's mad set, like okay. It he sounds like mad like European times, times, like, like 1800. the 1800s, 1900s. Hugh Jackman like turned he somehow time traveled to Meg Ryan's modern day times time to the Oregon? early 2000s. Yes, with the elevator. And this then, sounds like it's before it's and time. Then, <laughs> and then Kate is like, who the heck are you? And then Hugh Jackman is like, oh, forsooth, I am the inventor of the elevator. And who are you, fair maiden? But then they like get to know each other for some reason. And then they fall in love. And the longer he stays, because he's falling in love with Meg Ryan, then elevators start disappearing. <laughs> That's literally the plot of Kate Leopold. So Leopold's. because he met this chick out in the yes, 1800s. Yes, the elevator was elevators never invented. Nobody invented had it. the wherewithal <laughs> to, to invent What's, elevators. What it's telling me is that Homeboy decided to stay back in 1800 times and it was never invented. I think invented. he ha- went back because he's no, like, people hey, are dying in these been elevator changed. shoots. Viola Davis, who's the police officer, wherever time period this is at, I don't She's know. In early 2000s. Or whatever time period it is. She early invents, 2000s. She invents the elevator. Okay, she how can she if she's in modern times i don't know Edgy. i just don't understand how this movie even existed because this not makes no sense so next one is <laughs> it's the help <laughs> what are we gonna say about the help all i remember from her performance is her walking up to uh that chick from lady in the water and saying you're a godless woman <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just like yeah honestly the two things i remember from the help is when Octavia Spencer definitely pooped in that lady's pie. That's so nasty. And said, you're eating my poop. Uh, and disgusting. then I remember when Viola Davis said, you're a godless woman. And I remember Emma Stone's wig. <laughs> it, was <laughs> like, it was like this. Re- she, had, she was a redhead, but she had a red curly haired wig. So she just looked like the logo off of Wendy's. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I love Lucy, but Lucy looks no, better. Oh, yeah, that's better. Like she looked like <laughs> she looked like the chick on the Wendy's logo. Oh man, how and horrible. And she was just like, "Tell me your experience as a black maid." I'm like, "Nigga, you look like the chick on Wendy's." <laughs> don't don't take me you seriously. Don't ask me about how what's what's it like being black. You look like the Wendy's chick. <laughs> yeah, man, that whole that whole story is like it's good because they're it trying to be in a good happened, place, but a lot of a lot of a lot of democratic white people felt really good about that movie. Yeah, they did. They really really felt a lot of white saviors and allies felt yeah. like that movie was just it we nobody wants we bridged to the gap anymore. we bridged the gap and you really and did, you did it turn it here are my alternative t- titles for the help oh lord here we go i ain't got no <laughs> You're <alternative>. a godless <laughs> woman <laughs> is my <laughs> first title each <laughs> two exactly what'd you say anyways Okay, then she's in Beautiful Creatures. <laughs> Beautiful Creatures. Yo, that MTV movie? The witch one. With oh the witches. my God. What? It wasn't MTV. I mean, it wasn't MTV Yo, wait, movie, wait, but wait, it was an wait. MTV what, movie. What role was she? She Dang, played the, the... She straight up played the magical Negro. <laughs> she... They like, they, like, walked up to her and said, yo, we don't know anything about this magic. Can you teach us, Negro? And Viola Davis is like, <laughs> I shall show you my magical Negro ways. <laughs> And she like informed Yo. them on how to like beat the darkness Yo. or something like that. Y'all had to get so you stealing knowledge from black people now. Let me that, stop. That's I can't exactly do this. how it this went is very down. Black Panther because the chick, <laughs> the chick is the witch, right? And then you know the dude who plays Han Solo in the yeah. new movies. Mm-hmm. He's the love interest, and he's like, "Hey I guys, completely <laughs> forgot about it. I completely yeah. forgot about that." And he fell in love with this with witch. This witch. He's like, "Wow, you're neat." And then they fall in love, but then the witch is like got a witch family. 
and doesn't know how to control her dang powers and she's like i don't know if i should go towards the light or the darkness i gotta watch this movie again it's all i remember was that was this <laughs> de- gosh darn mtv movie that's it's all i remember it's a long episode it's of a the l- vampire diaries <laughs> and that's what it felt like it's it was like extended, a wb movie yeah it's like they took a plot of only one episode and, and then po- stretched, stretched it, it out and then yeah. dropped Viola Davis's poor behind oh into that gosh. into that movie. <laughs> Next. Okay, Suicide Squad. Okay, Suicide We're Squad. Sucked. Listen, Suicide Squad, the movie sucked. <laughs> this is now I'm in a territory where I can talk about it cuz I actually watched this movie. <laughs> Suicide Squad sucked as a story in general, uh-huh. as a whole movie in general. However, <laughs> The only gem and lighting star within this whole movie was Miss Viola Davis and, and her role as Amanda. Because why? Yeah. One, me watching those, uh, me watching um, uh, Amanda in uh, Batman when mm-hmm. I was younger in the cartoon, she ep- epitomized the the entire character that mm-hmm. you saw in the animated um, film and, and, and cartoons. Blazer and everything. Everything. Like the whole vibe was like, yo, this man, this lady is mean. Not here to like, play. Like she's mean. She ain't here to play. She don't like you. She don't, she don't care about you. And she's doing this for the, for money, for money, power, and you know, everything. Yeah. So, you want to know my favorite part of Suicide Squad? <laughs> <laughs> where Will Smith and uh, the dude who was like, I gotta find sh- my girlfriend who's trapped in the in the witch. Yeah, they're talking, and then out of nowhere, Viola Davis just starts shooting people. In the head. <laughs> she she <laughs> rolls up and starts <laughs> freaking sniping everybody. Yeah, but like in the room with weird accuracy. Like she's just like douche, 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 and Will Smith and uh, the like, freaking uh, Rick lady, Flag was yeah. his character's like, name. What's wrong with they're you? Like yo, yeah. You get used to it. Her hair looked great, though. Awesome. She her looked like the character. She looked like the great. character. She, I felt blazers. the character in her. Anyways, you know that's that's what happens. Maybe Suicide Squad, um, Squad Two will be better because they're just gonna replace a lot. Of I can't people. believe they're making a second one. I can't believe they're replacing Will Smith with Idris Elba because he wanted to play a blue genie. I think that's why. <laughs> I think he was like, no, I'm gonna play this blue genie. <laughs> Viola Davis, <laughs> we reviewed the filmography. We're great. Viola Davis is great. I'm Angie. This is Cindy. And bye. Thank you for listening. Bye. Because up your sleeves, you got a brand of magic never fail.